<laughs> That's a funny joke. Too bad I don't have anyone to share it with. Hi. Slowpoke, I didn't see you there. Well, wanna hear a joke? Sure. What is it? The joke is, can a match box? I don't know. No, but a tin can. Oh, I get it. Welcome back to Oat Cook, the show where I cook every dish from Food Wars. This time we have a really interesting dish, as we do every time. See, we've seen Soma be limited in a lot of ways be it time or ingredients, but now he is limiting himself to ingredients in a very more unique way. See, there's a trend we will see throughout the show where Soma loves to cook using snack foods. And it all starts right here with these. Now, in the manga slash anime, Soma is using what he calls cuttlefish jerky, and I think that's what I have. I put cuttlefish in and on um, Amazon, and this is what I got. I actually got like three packs. Um, I think this is the original flavor. Uh, hopefully Google Translate came through, and somewhere on this package it says original, and hopefully it is squid slash cuttlefish jerky. I, I would assume that it's dried squid, but whatever. Um, Soma actually makes a stock using a product, hopefully similar to this, so that's what we are going to be doing today. But also, Soma uses another interesting ingredient. Canned mackerel. Now, yes, this is the smallest can of mackerel I could find at the grocery store. Thank you for asking, and it is actually more mackerel than I need. Well. I think it's more mackerel than anyone needs, but it is what we're going to be using. But what are we making today? Well, we are making the Yukihira style Mac Burger lunch set. It is a fish patty made with our canned mackerel, a egg drop soup where the base is made out of our cuttlefish, and egg drop into it, egg drop soup. And there's also going to be rice, which there's nothing weird about the rice, I hope. So yeah. We're just gonna get right in, and we're gonna start the cooking. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to saute half an onion that I have already diced. That's right, I did the mise en place already. So I spared you guys from having to watch me do it. Now we're gonna add our onions into our pan. That is totally not hot enough, but we're gonna add them in anyway. I did this a bit too early. <sighs> Made a mess already. Jeez. And the oil I put in was a uh, light sesame oil. It's typically what I've been using for these recipes. I feel like it's what someone will be using. Um, we'll use, what spatula will I use to stir? I'll go with this one. Now nah, we'll go with this one. Try to find the right spatula. This is the right spatula. All right, we're just gonna let our onion saute for a little bit. And while we do that, we're going to be dealing with our canned mackerel. Yay. All right, now we're going to move on to the step that scares me the most. Opening up the mackerel. I got a lot of things over here. So let's get organized here. Let's open this mackerel and see what we're dealing with. My can opener is a great can opener, by the way. It does not suck at all. Gotta work out more. This, okay. The hardest part of the dish is getting the can open. That's what I would say. Okay, let's just, okay. 
Breaking the this here. Oh, jeez. I might have messed this up. Okay. On the. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Whoa! Well, I got it open. I don't think I should have, but I got it open. You know what? It doesn't smell that bad. It smells like tuna, which makes sense. Um, I'm going to be very careful about hydrogen. Now, I do have to keep the liquid. That's why I'm draining it into this container here. Whoa! That is just, like, oh, that is actually, <laughs> oh, no. That's not, I'm not a vegan or anything, but that might turn me vegan. Okay, so anyway, we're just gonna uh, put the blasphemy over there, the, discard this. I should have moved my trash can over here. Like we're gonna put this over here, banish it to hell, and then we're gonna dump it here. Oh, I might have to burn my equipment when I'm done. I'm going to stir my onions real quick. I hope that the audio sounds better to everyone because I actually have a lapel mic now, so hopefully everything's all crystal clear. I'm going to turn our onions off because I think they're pretty well sauteed. Some of them are getting a little bit too much color. All right, we're just gonna let those hang out for a little bit. And then, I should be wearing gloves. Oh, well, I'll wash my hands. Okay, so we want to take our mackerel, uh, just break it into bite-sized pieces. There are, bone, are there bones in this? I, on one of the recipes, it said there were bones. I don't know what a bone or where a bone isn't, so we're just gonna, Break it up. If this is nasty to you at home, trust me, it's nasty to me. Oh, I found the bones. Oh, I found the bones. Uh, mm, oh, eh. There's just a whole spine. There's just a whole spine. That is vertebrae. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I will buy gloves. That'll be the next thing I'm going to buy. I bumped the camera. Okay. Trash can has now been moved over. Ah! Okay. Okay. Um... Panicking, panicking, panicking. Um, take the vertebrae out of this one. Now, I think I was saying something before I found the vertebrae. That the bones were like soft and like they were edible and it was fine. But like, I mean, who wants to eat bones? Man, I really am just doing an autopsy on this poor mackerel. All right, we're just bringing it up here. Why did Soma even cook with this? My arm is like blocking what's happening, but like I don't think that's a bad thing this time. I think that might actually be okay. Um, go over here. Oh, oh there's a, is that a bone? That's a bone. Feels hard like a bone. This, uh, I gotta play it on my camera. I'm a little preoccupied with the mackerel that I'm breaking up with my bare hands. Duh. Sorry, Aquaman. Okay, let's get over here sever the carcass, take out the spine. I sound like a serial killer. I feel like a serial killer. All right. So I'm kind of forgetting a lot of the other dishes from Food Wars. Like I'm trying to think of like, is this the grossest thing I'm going to have to do? And am I going to skip it? Do I even need to talk? But I'm talking, it's fine. Um, anyway, yeah, I, this is probably the grossest thing I'm gonna do. Actually, no, I forgot about that one girl. She's like stalking Erina. You know the one, the really weird girl with like the poison food? Yeah, she, her dishes are gonna be a challenge, but if I can conquer the mackerel, I think I can conquer her. Um, we're aiming for bite-sized pieces here. And I'm probably gonna mix it up later anyway. I'm just kind of shocking it up. Um, Some of these big chunks, get them working up. Have you ever 
ever had canned mackerel? Let's pose a question to the audience. Have you ever done this or eaten this? Did you know what I was getting into? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I'm done messing with the mackerel. I am going to wash my hands. And then after I'm done washing my hands, we will be back with the rest of the ingredients for the mac burger. Is now recording. Camera is now recording. Hopefully everything's all good. Hopefully you can see me and everything. Clap the sink. All right, so we have everything assembled for the Mac burger. We have our actual mackerel. We have these panko breadcrumbs, 30 grams of them that I've already measured out with my handy dandy kitchen scale that I just bought the other day. We have our sauteed onions that got a little bit too much color on them, but it's okay. I was preoccupied. And then two, count them, two eggs, or as they say in Spanish, dos huevos. And so we're just going to add everything into this bowl, and then we are going to mix with our hands again. <sighs> again, I should get gloves. We're going to salt and pepper first because I don't like getting my hands messy and then touching my salt and pepper shakers. It's like a mess. Also, I'm probably, again, using the wrong salt to season. I should probably be using like kosher salt or whatever instead of like the sea salt grinder, but whatever. Um, do they come out of the pan? Come, I need the spatula. Technical difficulties, we got it. Okay, that's much better. Should have that the whole time. I don't know why we're adding onions, probably for flavor. Soma seems to like adding onions to things. I mean, has there been a recipe yet where I haven't, well, used onions? Did I use onions in the transforming furry cake rice? I don't think I did. Uh, we're gonna go with the panko. Panko. And then our eggs. So I always crack my eggs on the table because that's what you're supposed to do because if you do it on the side of the bowl, uh, shell fragments can get into what you're cooking. Well, I used to be a Boy Scouts and we had to cook our own meals with, me, our, bleh, we had to cook our own meals with Boy Scouts. And we were, I was making breakfast because I was on breakfast duty. And I did that just like I did right there and I cracked the egg on the table. And one of the adult leaders was like, now, Devin, you did that right. That's what you are supposed to do. But now we have to clean the table up. And I was like, oh, sorry. I don't know, it was just, that's a fun story. Uh, I don't want to mix that with my hands. I have decided against that now because of the egg. Um, what should I use to mix it? Probably, I'll just go with like a spoon. Yes, I keep my spoons in the cupboard. I do not have any drawers in my kitchen. We have established this. Uh, we're just gonna kind of go in. Oh, shoot. All right. We're just gonna. It's like meatballs. It's like it's it's just like meatballs. Only there is wonderful mackerel that we are dealing with. I'll probably cut a bunch of this. If I don't, I am sorry. I'll probably have to go with my hands eventually. I'm just trying to incorporate this egg in here real quick, and I did not want to do that with my raw hands right off the bat. Raw hands. <laughs> Sure, I guess my hands are raw. Alright, mixing it all in. Alright, I have given up on the spoon. We are just gonna go with the raw hands, as I said. Uh, I just want to get in there. Now I have made meatballs before and I'm pretty sure I did mix it all with my hands. I don't know if my technique is good. Italians out there, help me. What with, you know, the Italian cuisine has a lot of balls in it, you know. 
You got your meatballs, you got your arancinis, you got all the other stuff. So we just want to mix it. Oh, I mixed the freaking, um, the, the pork roll. I mixed the potatoes with my hands. Yeah, I, I've mixed things with my hands on this channel. Look at me forgetting things. Okay, so, yeah. All right. We're going to call that thoroughly mixed. Jeez, it, my hand smells Okay, so we have this sheet tray here. We are going to take this sheet tray. We are going to make three patties on here with what we have here. Now I might try to go four because I actually added in more mackerel than I needed because that's just what I have. Um, I could probably measure this out, but then I'd have to like clean my scale up and also find it. It's back behind my table. Um, yeah, I'm just call that one. I might have to disassemble that one because I probably made that one too big. Yeah, I definitely made that one too big. We're probably going to go for three. Um, that one there. No, hey, actually, if I like assemble it all, I might have it. We might just have it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, this is just a, a right mess. It doesn't count for the mess counter. Actually, we'll count it for the mess counter. Okay. Uh, add this little bit to our second ball here because I think that's where it goes. And we'll add more to the third one. It looks a little small. Okay, so now these are balls. They need to be patties. We will pattyify them. These are, these are the cursed hamburgers. These are the cursed hamburgers. Which I think is like the idea. I think it's because it's the Mac Burger. And so I think it's a pun on like McDonald's and we're using mackerel. <laughs> what if that's the secret? You know how people say like, oh, Krabby Patties from SpongeBob. They're made from crab. What if the McDon what if the McBurger is <laughs> made from mackerel? I know it's not the McBurger, but let me call it the McBurger. I don't know if these are going to stay together when I try to flip them, but I do not know. Okay, so actually, we have our little cakes, and I think they look pretty good. They're crab cakes. Like, that's what these are. They're fish cakes. It's a dish. It just started out looking sketchy. Um, I'm going to, again, wash my hands, and when I come back, I believe we're going to be dealing with the soup or the sauce, one of the two, but BRB. All right, I'm going to be honest, I keep forgetting that there's rice in this dish. So we're going to take our rice and we're just going to put it on our rice cooker. I know I did wash it. Trust. Trust. I washed the rice. Trust. All right, is it plugged in? No, it is not. Plug in our rice cooker here. And then we're going to it. I think I blew a breaker. I can't reach. Hold on. All right, note to self, do not plug in the rice cooker while the toaster's plugged in. We learn. Now we can turn the rice cooker on. Yeah, the toaster's new. Like, I have been making rice a whole bunch, and so I haven't had that issue happen. Actually, I think I had that when I had the forty cock egg. Whatever, anyway. Uh, we're going to add 700, mil 700 milliliters of water, that's the term, into our pot over there, get it boiling for our soup. So we're just going to measure. Trying to measure here. There we go. Come over here. Pour it in. That is 500. I'm in a mess. It is fine, it is only water. Why is it that every time I'm in the kitchen, I make a mess without fail? You know what, that's the goal for Oda Cook. We're gonna have one episode where I don't have to break up the mess counter. Can we do it? Okay, which burner is this? It is this one, so we're gonna go on high. And yeah, that's about what we had to do for that. Uh, I messed up my electrical system all to boil water and start some rice. Uh, yep, all right, we're going to deal with some stuff for the sauce and the soup, 
and we'll deal with that when we come back. All right, while we're waiting for our water to boil, we are going to do some more mise en place. So we have to take these and we have to measure out 30 grams. Um, okay, so open the package. Ugh. I'm scared for what I'm about to do, honestly. That's why I stood there. What? Okay, what? Okay. Oh, what? There's like a package in a package. What is happening? There's like plastic and then more plastic, but like it's not sealed. It's, why is there plastic in plastic? Anyway, okay. So that you have a nice little tray. I guess that's why. Um, okay, so we are going to get rid of this package. I moved the trash can back because, of course, I did. And so, yeah, I'm, well, if I'm going to cook with it, I might as well try it. Also, might as well get a good shot for the thumbnail while I'm at it. That is, what is that texture? Whoa, okay. So, whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, so, wow, that is definitely, whoa, so, when I was a kid, there was this Chinese buffet, and they would do crab, like, wrapped in bacon on little skewers, this tastes like the crab, like, wow, whoa, that was a, I'm still chewing on it, ugh, Whoa. Okay. That had a weird, like, front taste. But we got there. Okay, 30 grams of this crap. And I will say this was high in protein, so maybe this can be a nice post-gym snack for me. All right, just throw these little things in here. Um, 26. Uh, oh, this is, I don't know what's grosser, this or the mackerel? Probably the mackerel. I mean, I at least ate this. 30 grams exactly. There we go. Okay. There goes that. I threw the package away. I have to get that. Wait, does this not seal back up? Do I have to get a Ziploc bag for this? What is, wait, does it, what is going on? Okay, anyway, uh, I dug the package out of the trash. Uh, honestly, the rest might go in there anyway. We're gonna put that back in there. Um, I'll figure out what to do with this later, put them on the table. Uh, next, next, while I have the scale on, we're going to measure out um, 120 milliliters of, uh, no, Ponzu. I have the recipe over here. Uh, 30 grams of a Ponzu. It is grams, it is in grams. It is in fact in grams, look at that. So this is Ponzu. It is a citrus seasoning. I'm just reading that off the thing. Now I never I've heard of Ponzu, but I didn't really know much about it. And I'm hoping to use it more because I mean I have it, might as well use it. Alright, so we're gonna go. Let me double check my recipe here. 30 grams Ponzu, yep. I have misread recipes before, and I just did not want to do it now. Pour it in. That is 31 grams, that is gonna be a-okay for me. It's good. I'm gonna hold off on the cornstarch because we're gonna move on to the eggs. Cracking some more eggs right onto the counter. There's that. Should've moved the trash can over again. Do you want to get egg into the squid? Then crack that. Do that bowl. Now I want to get the eggs good and scrambled because I think our water is coming over there nicely to a boil. And this is what we want to ribbon, or no, actually, I don't need the egg just now. I need that just now. I'm getting so far ahead of myself. I'm four parallel universes ahead of you. That's a funny meme, right? You cannot see what I'm doing. There you go. I need to keep looking at this camera to make sure that I can see what I'm doing. I'm definitely getting better at this whole producing a cooking show thing. I mean, I have a new mic, so the audio is a lot better. I've been talking a lot more. Um, I think 
the food, like the cooking of the food is better. I'm definitely doing mise en place. And I think we are at a boil over here on our pot. Yes, we are. So we are going to uh, not try not to burn ourselves. Again, I'll tell you about that one later. But uh, anyway, try not to burn ourselves, throw in our jerky, and then we are going to wait 10 minutes while it simmers. Let me double check our recipe. Yep, we're going to let that steep for 10 minutes. And our rice is coming along nicely. Just getting a bowl, because we're going to need to drain that later. I have egg on my hands. That's not good. Okay, let me wash my hands real quick. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to make a slurry with our starch here. Now, the recipe calls for potato starch, but I actually have used corn starch as a, as a potato starch substitute before, and it's worked fine for me. Well, Sometimes. Look, me and starches, it does not work. I only need four grams here, so I'm trying not to go overboard. Bam, got it. Okay. And then you need to add, well, I'll keep this. Then you need to add four grams of water to this. Yeah, um, I've mentioned before on this channel that sauces are sort of my enemy because sauces are my enemy. I need, like, here, I'll use this little container. I need something to pour water in, because I need four grams of water. It's here. Pour that in very carefully. Um, I have added too much water, I think. Anyway, we're just gonna... I have added... Yeah, I think I've added enough water. It's just not a lot of space here in this little deli tanner. Oh yeah, there's that. We're going to keep that spoon because I'm going to need it. Do not spill water on the ground. But let me actually finish my thought here. Yeah, so I'm very bad with sauces. Whenever, like, it's like, okay, so you put the things in the pan and you put the cornstarch in. Whenever I put the cornstarch in, it doesn't freaking work. I always do a slurry. Well, at first I didn't do a slurry at one point. And then I was like, oh, you do slurry. And then I tried the slurry. And then the slurry didn't even work. So now every time I make sauces, I get really scared. So we're gonna try this, hopefully it works. But yeah, I've got everything measured out. The next steps are just going to be to, when that finishes, drain it out with our sieve into this bowl. And then we're going to um, add the stock back in, ribbon in our eggs, stir that up nicely, probably let it go for a little bit more, and then build our sauce. Oh, and also cook the Mac burgers. I have to do that too, so. BRB when we're ready to do that. All right, good news. It has been 10 minutes and also the rice is done. So what we're gonna do is we're going to figure out how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do this over at the sink. I have a bit of a lot going on over here. So we're gonna take this and I'm just pouring this into that sieve and we're getting all the good bits out. The rehydrated squid, oh, this, oh, that looks, let me put, let me show you. Oh, look at that. That is definitely rehydrated squid. That is what that looks like. Uh, it is, I have reanimated squid is what I have done. I have brought the dead back to life. I am going to get rid of this in a second. All right, so I, I need that pan back. Oh, geez. I shouldn't have done that. Mistakes were made, guys. Mistakes were made. Uh, be right back. All right, now that I have the pan back that we're going to be using, we're going to de-lid, and we're going to take our stock. That is this weird white color, and we're just going to very carefully pour back into our pot. We want to bring this back up to a boil. Uh, that's not the right one. That one. Bring that back up to a boil, and then we can put our egg in there. So right now, we are going to deal with our sauce. So let me look at the recipe and figure out what we gotta do with that. All right, so basically what we have to do for our sauce is we have to take our ponzu and our mackerel juice. We have to add it into this pan here, and we're going to bring it to a simmer. So we're just gonna put it on that right there. 
And then I'm also going to season up our uh, soup stock over here before I, I forget. It is very important to season. I sometimes forget it. It is very easy to forget. Uh, I'm just going to be using simple salt and pepper for our stock seasoning here. Okay. Here we go. Now, fingers crossed that our sauce works really well. Now, the recipe is going to have me do the burgers like after the sauce is done and after the soup is done. Probably because the burgers like don't take that long to cook. Do how they don't really tell me how long the burgers take to cook. I don't know, but we're gonna focus on the sauce and the soup. So I'm gonna let the sauce come to a simmer and the soup come to a boil. And when that happens, I will be right back. All right, our soup is at a boil here, or at least our stock is rather. Take our lid off. Get rid of that. So I'm going to take our egg. And then try to get a good angle on this. I'm just gonna slowly pour this in and then stir around. All right. Now, I've never made egg drop soup before, so I hope that this is all gonna work. We are already kind of ribboning, so I hope this looks good. I'll probably try to move the camera in so that you can get a good look at it. I think it looks pretty good. Honestly, it looks like the squid did like before I took it out. So we're just gonna pour that. I can probably turn this down to a simmer now because I think the soup might be done. All right. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like here. There we go, look at that. And now look at our sauce here. I don't think we're quite in a simmer with the sauce yet. Let me stir it around. Don't want any of it to burn. All right. Also, let me double check my recipe over here. See what needs to be done with the soup still. All right, honestly, I think the soup is all good. We're just waiting on our sauce and then eventually we'll start cooking the Mac burgers. Hopefully the soup is good. It's just squid stock that I made with jerky and some egg that I poured in and some salt and pepper. So hopefully that's all good. All right, just letting our sauce simmer here. All right, so I'm gonna call that we are at a simmer, so I'm going to take our slurry here, and I'm gonna like mix it up a little bit more, because I read somewhere that if you like, it'll like settle the slurry well if you don't like mix it up like immediately beforehand, so I'm just trying to mix it up really well right now. Get the spoon out of here, and then we're just going to go very, very carefully. I'm gonna mix this up before I start adding, and then we're just gonna go in and we're just really going to start stirring this around because I do not want this to be messed up, you know? I hope I added, like, enough slurry into this, honestly, because I did not have a whole bunch. It said four grams. I put in four grams. All right, I think if we just keep letting this heat up, it will eventually thicken, so we're just going to let that happen. And then I'm probably just going to probably keep stirring this, honestly. Hopefully this works. I don't know, man. I'm not good with sauces. But yeah, we're just gonna let that go. Honestly, I think I'm gonna turn our heat on and get our Mac burgers started. Cause I think most of our elements are good. We just gotta cook some patties. Turn the this on. And then once our pan gets heated up here, we'll be right back. All right, here are our patties. I hope that my, my one hope is that these like stay together. They are already falling apart. Take it. Mix it in. Ah, oh, jeez. I am struggle busting here with this one. Should I pack it in a little bit more? Here, I'll pack it in a little bit more. You are a mackerel burger. You are proud. You will hold yourself together. Hopefully better than I can during these videos. Okay, uh, last one here. This one looks like the best one and I'll erase our front part two. Get it in the thing. Okay, whoa, it fell apart as I put it in. 
These need to be flipped. These need to be flipped. I don't know how that's going to happen. I will probably have to get my hands involved. Speaking of hands, I'm going to wash those. Let me check my sauce over here because I've just kind of been letting the sauce kind of go, hoping that some of the excess liquid will come out of it. Honestly, I think it's thickened up really well. So yeah, I'm going to turn on, I'm going to turn off this burner. Hope I didn't burn it at all. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that. That looks like a sauce to me. I didn't make a lot of it though. Shame. Okay. So I'm gonna let these kind of cook for a little bit. All right, the flipping of these Mac burgers is starting to become the hard part of this recipe. I feel like there has been like every Oda cook I have done, there's been one thing that I've been like, okay, that's the thing I'm worried about. This has quickly become the thing that I'm worried about. This flipping right here. So we're just gonna keep letting it get like a nice crisp edge on the one side because I do not wanna have to flip these again. I keep talking to the microwave. I don't know why, the camera's right there. But anyway. Hopefully this all works out, and we'll be back when I have to flip these. I think it's honestly just going to be over the truth. Okay, let's get it on. Okay, whoa, okay, I got it on. Go. Woo! Okay, I got one flip, and it looks amazing on the bottom. Okay. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's do three. It's like flipping pancakes. It's like flipping pancakes. You gotta commit. You gotta commit. Okay. Go, 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 go. Ah! Ah! Honestly, two for three ain't bad. Okay. That was stressful, but we're gonna be okay. Um, I don't think I'm worried about these cooking through too much because I. I think the mackerel was cooked enough. I don't think the mackerel was like super raw and bad. So we're just gonna let those go for a little bit longer. And yeah, when I come back, I think we're gonna have everything plated up. So I can't wait. Let's see how it all turned out. But I always make these videos like my dinner like like I don't have anything else planned like I am going to eat this This is my sustenance and like the smells of the soup and the burger and like I taste a little bit of the sauce and just There is the essence of fish throughout this entire situation And I like fish don't get me wrong, but like it's a little too strong like for me so we're gonna get a little bite of the burger here. We're gonna little, do a little bit. Now, I think I might have reduced the sauce a bit too much, but honestly, I think the sauce like technically turned out well. Taste-wise, we will see. So, I uh, yeah, eat a duck, I must. Okay, I need to talk well. That ain't half bad. Okay, so, uh, I have been eating tuna a lot lately, like for my lunch at work. And honestly, yeah, I mean, it smelled like the tuna earlier when I was portraying it out. And yeah, that smells like the tuna that I ate. Let me do this sauce isolated. The sauce, it has, yeah, I can, yeah. It has that fishiness, but it also has this like sourness to it from the ponzu. I, it's definitely what it is. I don't really like the flavor, but like, it's not bad, honestly. Now what I'm really scared about is this soup. 
because this is just squid and like egg and it looks ghastly to me at least. The smallest spoonful ever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop that bowl and I'm gonna cry. Okay. Yeah, it tastes like the squid and it tastes like egg. Look, this is making something out of not a lot of ingredients and we definitely did that here, but I think the flavors are a little bit too simplistic. Like, yeah, you like, like what was in the soup? Egg, water, fish jerky. And it has flavor, it packs a punch, but it tastes like that jerky and egg. So, if we had like more to throw into it, it would taste like better for me, maybe a little bit more complex, but it definitely does pack that flavor that Miss Fumio was talking about. And speaking about that, we're going to talk about the chapter in a little bit after I eat this. Oh, I guess I guess I didn't try the rice. I should try the rice. Get the rice. Yep, it's rice. But I'm going to be back and we can talk about the chapters. All right, I have finished the food. It was okay. Look, I kind of talked about it earlier, but the food was not to my liking. It definitely accomplished what Soma was going for. What, like, dude made a whole hamburger out of a can of mackerel. I mean, I just made a whole hamburger out of a can of mackerel. I made three whole hamburgers using a can of mackerel. So, the dish does work. The flavors just aren't something that I enjoy. But something that I do enjoy, the Food Wars manga. Great segue. And we're finally on volume two. So we are trucking right along. This chapter, not a lot happens. Soma just goes to Kyokusei dorm or Polar Star dormitory as it is sometimes um, translated. I think in this it is Polar Star dorm. I can't quite remember. But yeah, he takes the entrance exam, or was it the, it's the exam to like get into the dorm to be able to sleep there because you can't get to sleep in the wilderness. So uh, Totsuki is insane as a school. They totally break a lot of laws, but I'm sure they get away with it. They got a lot of money. But he does Fumio's challenge, making the things that we just made, and he is able to go in and sleep there. And Miss Fumio is, She's a character in the manga. I don't really, like, remember a lot about her. She just kind of has not very much of a presence. I will say the foodgasm with her in this scene where she's, like, younger and, like, trying to kiss Soma is, like, a little weird. But, like, I'm glad they didn't, like, try to turn her into a gilf or anything with the foodgasm. Making her younger was definitely the play for the foodgasm. Megami appears in this chapter. Soma walks in her on the bath. Wish it were me. But um, I think that's the most noteworthy part of this chapter. Because after that, we're going to go into Soma meeting the other dorm mates. And I'm going to cover that in the next episode. Which the next episode is going to be Ishiki's Pepper Grilled Seer. So you are going to want to make sure that you are subscribed for that one. And make sure you click that bell so that you get all the notifications. Um, these videos are going to be going up uh, the first Saturday of every month. I don't know if you've caught on to that. So if you're here for these videos, that's when those are coming up. But you should watch all my other videos too. But with that being said, comment, like, subscribe, and you're welcome.